Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. So there you have it, a really quick and short postpartum practice that is designed to tone the pelvic floor and bring your abdominals back together and improve your posture and just release stress. So we're going to start with abdominal bracing breath. So this breath is excellent at retraining your core muscles, which might be feeling a little bit lost, a little bit blind at the moment. Retrains your core muscles to really activate. Um, you start with an inhale that lengthens the belly. Breathing in through the nose. And when you exhale, breathe out through pursed lips. So it's like you're blowing out candles on a cake. Be, make that breath quite powerful. However old you are, that's how many candles you're blowing out, all right? So you're blowing out for a long time. <laughs> well, if you're me, anyway. And as you do, you'll notice your rib cage expands up and out on the inhale. And in and down on the exhale. And that just makes your, your tummy draw in, yeah? It's like you've got a corset on and it tightens with the exhale. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Practice that for a few rounds because you're going to use that breath in the exercises coming up. So now let's transfer this onto the ground. So lie down on your back. Feet away from your body, feet kind of hip width apart. And we just take the hands to the pelvis and you just tilt the pelvis up and down. Your hands are like a triangle there and find that space there. So we're going to start working to create a neutral spine for good posture. This means positioning your pelvis in neutral, so not too much rounded, not too much arch, but level between the pubic bone and the hip bones. When you're ready, big inhale, lengthens belly, exhale, gather the ribs in and they kind of, the front ribs point down to the hip bones. Everything's gathering to your center line. You can really visualize that with that imagery of everything gathering to the center line. And then we wanna just get to a point where you feel on the end of the exhale, the pelvic floor draws up and in. So begin how use the exhalation to feel that. Vagina walls drawing together and gathering up and in. So there's various different way, ways of like imagining that. Some say it's like you've got a straw and it's thick milkshake and you're just sucking up that thick milkshake. Or you're trying to pick up a blueberry with the straw. <laughs> I don't know, whatever works for you. Or this the vagina walls drawing up and in, yeah. So with practice, you'll be able to feel that a lot more effectively. You want to keep that activation every time you exhale. Now, let's try and get the back ribs to press onto the ground. So inhale, and then exhale. Vaginal walls gathering up. Inhale. Exhale, back ribs pressing down. It doesn't look like much, but you will feel it, and you'll feel it more and more with every time you come to practice this. Now, with that core engagement, we'll start to layer on some exercise. So, use your inhale to prepare, your exhale, activate, and now slide one leg along the ground, and then the other leg, keeping your body really stable, your hips stable. So, inhale, prepare, exhale, using that full exhalation breath to get all that movement in with the legs and then take another breath. Let's do it another time. Like you've got the corset on, it tightens. A belt round your waist, it tightens. You zip up a tight pair of jeans, yeah? And then slide the legs. 
With practice, you can hover the legs off the ground. And now let's try the next little exercise, single leg lifts. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, activate your core and then raise one knee off the ground, one leg off the ground and lower. Keep your hips really still. Lower. Keep the shoulder blades on the ground. Single leg lifts really help to activate the traverse abdominis, your deep core muscles. And then we can try um, a bridge pose. So keep the feet pushing down into the floor. Now use your arms. You're gonna lift the hips on the exhale. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, push through the hips and activate your hamstrings, your glutes. The hips come up. Take an inhale up the top here. And when you exhale, again, it's like you've got a tight pair of jeans on and then they're zipping up at the front. Glutes are strong. The abdominals gathering in. And then inhale and roll your spine down. Curl through the pel pelvis and zip up the pelvic floor to release. You can um, really make sure you're pushing down through the inner arches of the feet. Ready? Let's come up two more times. If you do this really well, then you don't have to do it loads of times. Less but really effective is the key here. So lifting up, inhale, at the top, exhale. This will really help to draw the abdominal walls, um, the abdominals back together and bring it down. Take another breath. And exhale, push through the feet and come all the way up. Inhale at the top and exhale to roll the spine all the way down. Good. So now let's try from here, just rolling onto your side and push through your hands to come up to a tabletop position. So in tabletop, you're going to just get comfortable by spreading the fingers, hands under shoulders knees under hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Lift the heart forward and exhale, round. Notice that you're kind of tilting your pelvis when you round the spine and you draw the abdominals up and in. You can apply the abdominal bracing breath here, the core breath. Now bring the spine into neutral. This next one's really great if you've been suffering with pelvic girdle pain or pain around the hips. It really helps to stabilize your pelvis and relieve back pain as well. So you just wanna make sure you're really grounded through the knees and then as you exhale, just lift one hand up and bring it down. Lift the other hand up, bring it down. Make sure you're not rocking or shifting or tipping in the knees, you wanna keep your weight in the middle. And if, you, if that's fine, you can try the same, but with the legs. So big inhale to prepare, exhale, activate through your core, and then slide one leg up, back and then up if it's available. You can just keep it on the ground if not, and then bring it down. And that time, you keep your hands really centered, um, your weight really centered in the hands. Yeah, it looks easier than it actually is. So give yourself time. It does feel hard when you're doing this properly with the breath. Really stretch the ball of the foot back. And then we'll alternate between the arm and the leg. So if that was okay for you, you can now try it where you bring the opposite hand and leg up. Inhale, bring it down. Nice and stable. Exhale. Inhale. Remember, you're using that bracing breath at the core the whole time. 
Nice powerful exhales. Activating all the way from the tummy to the pelvic floor. One more each side. Good, and take a little breath from here. Let the hips just sway and circle. And stretch the heart to the ground to release the upper back. So here, your bum is over the knees and your heart comes down. If it bothers your neck, you can of course bring your forehead down and rest. But the idea here is just to release your upper back, which can get really tense, carrying baby, holding baby, feeding. And then slowly bring your hands back and sit into child's pose with the forehead to the ground and the arms to your sides. Slowly start to come back up now. So up onto your knees. If you don't like sitting like that, of course you can raise up here or you can sit cross leg. I'm comfy like this, so I'll stay like this. Just gonna release the upper back a little bit with some circles. Hands on top of the shoulders and circle your elbows. Nice deep inhale to reach the elbows up. Exhale to bring them down. Okay, and reverse it. And then bring one arm across your body to the other shoulder and stretch like this. And then over the head, behind your head, take a breath. I never used to get upper back pain as much as since having children. Uh, they can just get heavier and heavier and they still need carrying. <laughs> Even up to the age of three, still carrying them around. So yeah, the tension in the upper back is just no joke. And sometimes it's just from sleeping funny as well. So the elbow over the head and then just push back. and then release out the shoulders. Another really nice thing from yoga to do here is to cross your elbows and wrap the wrists. Bring the elbows up and then draw the shoulders down. So you, so you spin the wrists, bring the elbows up, inhale, and draw the shoulders down, exhale. And that's really nice for the top of the shoulders. You can just release your jaw here as well. And let's try it the other way. So circle the arms the other way, wrap the elbows, bring palms together, shoulders down, elbows up, inhale, exhale. And release out the arms. One last thing to share with you here now is um, a, a kneeling lunge to release out the front of the hips. Step your right foot forward. You might want to pad up the left knee. This is really great to release out the hip flexor, which gets really tight as well from uh, that postpartum typical posture. So um, just push forward into that space and you get a really lovely stretch here. Let's take the arms up, inhale, look up, exhale and then option to take the hands behind the head and you've got your right knee in the front so just lean over to the right with that right elbow going down towards the floor and then look up towards your left elbow and this really accentuates the release for the hip flexor, the psoas, which actually holds a lot of emotional stress as well as physical stress. So just enjoy this part, really take your time, breathe slowly and smoothly. It's a, just a normal relaxed breath here. And then slowly bring it down. Let's transition with a camel pose. This one's 
also great. So push the hips forward, lift the heart. Look up and switch sides. So if you have a mat and you're rolling it up, you roll the length of the mat up to pad up your right knee to step the left foot forward. Hips press forward. If, you, if your knee's uncomfortable and you prefer to tuck a toe, that's good too. And then inhale. Arms are up. Interlace the fingers, hands to the back of the head. Exhale. Lean over with, to the left with your left elbow because you've got your left knee in front. And kind of look up to your top right elbow. And slowly come back down. So you've got the option there to get about your, go about your day and uh, maybe baby has had enough of you and uh, doing it, stuff for yourself and exercising or if you get an extra minute, please do take it to just lie down and take a moment to really connect your breathing with your body and enjoy some nice, smooth, slow, relaxed moments of peace and quiet with the eyes closed and the jaw released. Feet can be on the ground for extra uh, support for your lower back. And it also gives you that sense of grounding. Motherhood can be a, such a huge time of upheaval. And so it's really great to make sure you make time in the day to connect to yourself and connect to the ground underneath you. Enjoy slow, calm, relaxed breath and feel the body unravel and release into the ground. So when you're ready to come up, you can just roll to the side and push through your hands to come up to seated. I hope that was helpful. The more you practice it, the better and easier it gets.